Um, so x. So next one we want to talk about is if x n converges to x in distribution and x x n converges to x uh, x n, uh, y n minus x n converges to zero in probability, then x n plus y n minus x n, which just left with y n, will converge into x in distribution. Um, <clears throat> so this is we use we're going to use the uh, Pomander lemma uh, to prove uh, convergence in distribution. Um, so we want to prove that for any bounded uh, Lipschitz fun continuous function f, uh, to prove that convergence in distribution, we want to prove that for any bounded Lipschitz continuous function, this will converge. The expected value will converge. Uh, so if f is a Lipschitz continuous function, uh, well, so. So to prove convergence, the absolute value we know that is less than or equal to. We're gonna re, uh, we're gonna uh, introduce uh, the x n term here. So we we we're gonna minus and plus the expected value of f x n, but the the inequality we're gonna so that would be less than or equal to absolute value of that term and absolute value of the other term. All right, so that's that's what we have right now, uh, and and we know the last term will goes to zero, and we want to prove that this term also goes to zero. So to prove this that this term will go to zero, um, we're gonna so the second term goes to so the second term goes to zero by by the uh, by the uh, potential lemma, right? So we know x n converts to x in distribution, then we know that this will converge to zero. Uh, what we left is the first term goes to zero. So if f is bounded, and then we know that f is less than or equal to some m, and it's at Lipschitz continuous, then we know that there exists a k that uh, fx minus fy absolute value is less than k times x minus y absolute value. Then this, the first term here will be will be less than to uh, <clears throat> take the absolute value into the integral, right? So this is taking the absolute value into the in integral. And here we're going to make a conditional. Um, so we're, con we're going to condition on uh, indicator function where xn minus yn is less than or equal to epsilon. And, and well, we, we, so not, not conditional, but we split that integral into two sets. One set is y n minus x n is less than equal to epsilon. The other set is y n minus x n is greater than epsilon. And this one is by uh, because it's Lipschitz, and and this is less than equal to epsilon. Then we know that this will be less than equal to k times epsilon. And what we left at the integral. Will expect the value becomes the probability of y n minus x n less than equal to x, right? Uh, so that <coughs> so that's the first term. The second term because the function is bounded, this term is bounded by two m, and what we left here is the, is the expected value of the indicator, and that's the probability of that indicator. If we let n goes to infinity. Uh, <coughs> The <coughs> expected of f y n minus expected of f x n will be less than or equal to uh, <coughs> k epsilon uh, <coughs> because y n converts to x in probability. Uh, the last term goes to zero, and since epsilon is is uh, since epsilon is arbitrary, uh, we get uh, the the conclusion. That uh, expected value f y n converges to f f x n, and that's that proved the the theorem. Uh, the next theorem is um, so if x n converges to x uh, in distribution, z n converges to zero in probability, then x n plus y z n converges to x in distribution. That's very similar to well. It's, I would say it's exactly the same of this one, um, uh, but but the proof is uh, 
we can use we can use this one to prove it. Just you know, that's the same. It's the same thing. This is the z, right? Uh, we can also use uh, uh, the other way of proving it. Uh, just the uh, you know by the definition, we want to prove this one is is converged to that, and this one less to less than equal to some value is converged to this one. And that proving is is similar to one of the proofs that we we've done previously, uh, similar to this one. So you can always uh, go back to the the previous section and look at the proof to try to prove it uh, yourself.